Hey, my name is Charles Van Hoots. I teach electricity on the Mayo campus of Big Sandy Community and Technical College. A little bit about the program, it's a two-year program. We have several different areas that you can explore within the program. Uh, most of our students do graduate with an associate's in applied science with, uh, within the two years or four semesters. Um, a lot of our students also apply and get financial aid. So if you're worried about maybe you're coming from a family that has a lower income, that's not a problem. There's, there's grants that are set up, there's scholarships that are set up. And we have really good success rate with students that maybe thought that they would have a problem. Um, they have no problem overcoming those areas. Uh, back a little bit about the program. We have four different diplomas that you can get. Uh, maybe you just want to wire houses. We have a diploma track for you. Maybe you want to do more commercial, uh, industrial. We have a track for that as well. Maybe you like computers. Maybe you want to do PLC programming. Uh, maybe you just want to walk into a factory setting where that everything is programmed and everything is automated. We have a track that will help you obtain those. Maybe you're not sure and you want to say, hey, I want to get everything that I can while that I'm here in two years. That's what the majority of our students do because you can get everything that we offer within two years. Um, even if you have to have a remedial class, I know maybe math is a struggle for some students. It was for me, I didn't like math. We have great instructors that are always there to help you out. Maybe you need to do tutoring. Maybe you do need that remedial class. That's not a problem. Um, we always have somebody that is there and willing to help you out. Um, another thing, you know, classes are going to look a little bit different. That's why that we're doing this video and I'm not in front of you actually talking to you in person. Uh, we are going to try our best to have as much in-person, face-to-face in the electrical the program as what that we can because we know that students do often sometimes struggle their first semester. Maybe you are a first-time college student in your family and I know a lot of the times that can be intimidating but don't let that get to you. There's always somebody there that is willing to help you out. Maybe you are thinking about coming to college this next semester. Maybe you're a senior and you don't know your path yet. Um, our introduction classes start with you not knowing anything about electricity. Maybe your family, you have no one in your family that was in the electrical field. That was me whenever that I started college. Uh, my mom and my dad both were in the healthcare profession. I knew nothing about electrical. Uh, I just kind of looked up online and saw that there was a lot of jobs that were available. At the time it wasn't online. But I looked up and saw that there was a lot of jobs that were available and I saw that the pay is really good and it interested me. So my first semester, um, it, circuits one and two, it's really, really basic. We assume that you don't know anything about the electrical field. If you've already had electrical classes, maybe at an ATC, maybe at your high school, that's great. You'll be a step ahead. But if you're not, then you're starting exactly where that we assume that you are at. Uh, we have students that don't know the difference in tight and loose as far as turning a screw, which way to turn it, left or right, and that's fine. Don't let that be a hindrance to you. Maybe you're a female and you think that you'd like to be in the electrical program, but you look up information and you see that it's a, a male trade. Well, that's not the case anymore. That was the case 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Some of my best graduates have been females. A lot of what that we're doing is we are taking hundreds of wires and we're putting them in this metal enclosure or just a box. They are more finicky. They do a better job with things like that. Um, they tend to spend more time and sometimes take more pride than what the guys do. So if you're a female and you're thinking about the trade, absolutely. I can put you in contact with some females that have graduated, that are out there working, that are out there making fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 a year. Um, when they got into school, one of them I can think of, she, she, she already had a child whenever that she was coming to high school, or whenever she was coming to college and uh, she was afraid that it was not going to be possible for her. Um, I'm sure that she was on government assistance whenever that she first enrolled and now I look back and I look at her and she's no longer on that government assistance. She's driving the new car, the new truck and she's got that new home and her child's wearing the clothes that she wanted her to wear and it had nothing to do with me. It had everything to do with her and everything to do with the field of electricity and what that it's enabled her to do. It, it, it has really given her that better life that we hear about so often. As far as the labor market goes, 
the field of technology is growing so quick that the electricians that were out there doing these jobs 10 years ago don't necessarily know everything that you would know coming straight out of a program like this. Um, if you look behind me, it doesn't look like the field of electricity that would have been out there 10 years ago. Um, and because of that, the students are trained with PLCs, programmable logic controllers, and a whole lot of automated processes. And it really enables them to get those higher paying jobs. Um, in the next 10 years or so, they look for about 60%, don't quote me on that, but they look for a lot of our market to retire. Um, so the field is going to be wide open. I've heard a lot of electricians that are out there that I used to work with say that you'll be able to name your price for the simple fact that we're almost a dying breed. There's not a whole lot of us out there that are still doing this. We really need more people in the electrical field. Um, generally speaking, if a student wants to go to work and they want to get out there and search, as soon as they graduate, they find a job.